Hi guys. Oh, welcome back to the Garatana. My name is Abby, and today we're um, well. I'm gonna be shooting the um, monthly Botanica haul um, video, so we'll start with that. There is gonna be a mini part two to this because I didn't go to Original Botanica this time. I went to um, Saint Elias Botanica um, because I wanted to show different things that they have that Original does not have, um, and also because I am going to be posting the botanicals essentials video next week so i just wanted to make sure i got some stuff from them too because there's some stuff again that they have that they don't have in their smaller botanica which is a little bit more traditional in the sense of the largeness of a botanica they usually tend to be kind of small original botanica tends to be very big um in comparison to the rest of them and in the stuff that they have so um we are going to do this um but that's the haul uh so i will be going to original just to pick up a couple of things that i wanted i wanted to go pick up from there but we're going to be i'll go over everything that i got with you guys basically um from saint alias botanica um which is fairly close to me as well so it's pretty cool um eventually maybe i'll just like review a bunch of botanicas in new york and we'll see if you guys want to see that <laughs> let me know um but yeah so let's get started so i guess i'll start off with because you guys know i usually get like a herbal bath situation from because i like trying them it's fun um i got the del dinero um baño de plantas aromaticas uh bath <laughs> which is uh the money drawing uh bath and i just really like how this is kind of designed too it's a very comic book like style of designing the the, the print for it is very comic booky um but it smells really good. It smells like <laughs> soap from DR. Probably same, it's a very similar soap that we use in most, um, I want to say, like Latin American, Caribbean, South American, like uh, countries. It might just smell very similar, but it really smells like Halong from DR. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, no, I'm Dominican, so we're gonna stick to that. Um, so yeah, so I really wanted to get that. So that's what I got that one for. Um, I like to pick up books here and there for different things just because, you know, I, my Gemini moon makes it so I love reading. Uh, so I'm a super nerd. I am a Ravenclaw from my Harry Potter people in the back over there. Um, and, um, also thumbs up if you think that my, like, my tattoo looks like a Harry, like the Harry Potter, de um, the death mark. Because when I saw it from a distance, like, if I just go like this really fast, you would think, you would think, but no, I'm in Ravenclaw, okay? We're not about that life. Um, so yeah, so I got this. This was really cool. Um, this is a Grand Manual de las Figmas de Ocean. Um, Ocean. So I got this because I thought, well, first of all, I thought it was really beautiful. Um, all of the signatures. It's just like a bunch of different signatures. Um, and also when it comes to, um, what you calls it? What? Hold on. Let me try to get the. Let me. I'm trying to find the word. Uh, when it comes to. Okay, so this. These are for him, but as well, they're in uh, correlation with other Orishas as well. So it's really. Um, it's a, it's a pretty cool read. Um, so I just like it was the last one in the store, and they have like most of their books that they have are mainly in Spanish, um, because it's it's a small botanica, and most people that um go to botanicas tend to be like the spanish community so they they have mainly spanish um books they're also by the way my people who love santa muerte their santa muerte collection is really bomb for a small ass botanica they get it directly from mexico this is a, uh the, from what one of the guys was telling me he gets um there's a, a guy that goes travels to mexico uh buys um the supplies of uh different um santa muertes in different sizes too so you could get them at a really cool price um and they're not like super expensive because i've seen some santa muertes that are like this big for like 35 45 dollars um and so they have like a really good collection different sizes like teeny sizes big sizes super super good collection for a really inexpensive price um and they have a really good santa muerte collection so he goes he travels to mexico comes back um and he, they're always uh different pieces too so it's you're not you're not ever always getting the same thing um so i thought that was kind of interesting anyway sorry sorry about the book. so um i thought that this was really cool um when i picked it up for some reason i got a visual uh, sorry i had kind of had a vision of me in the woods um drawing some it, it just 
I had a whole moment and I was just like, oh, okay. So I'll pick, I'll pick this guy up. Um, I know that there's some, there's one in here um, that I'm supposed to do for Oshun. So yeah, there's one, there's one for like this. It's just like a really cool book for different things. And I'm trying to find the Oshun one so I can show it to you guys. Uh, but there's a lot of them, so yeah. I mean, huh? No, I was almost there. Obatala, Shango, hold on. Oya, yeah, the Oya one is really cool. It's really cool. Um, oh, I can't find it now, but it's definitely in here. So I thought this was really cool. Um, and I mean. He is a research related to nature. Um, so doing it, the fact that I saw myself doing that in the woods was just interesting because, um, you know, I've been working a lot with Oshun this, Oshun this year, but I've also been, so there's been a lot of like forest stuff because the river usually tends to be surrounded by trees and such. Um, so there's kind of like, a, there's been a lot of forest energy for me this, this, this year. Uh, recently, me and my uh, girlfriend went to, we basically went kind of hiking. But it was a very kind of old land, that, very ancient land actually. And I actually kind of vlogged it, but I haven't posted it yet because I'm gonna combine it with a different video, so you'll guys see that we'll see that later. Um, cause a couple of different bits, uh, haunted houses. There was a whole like hanging tree. There was there was a, like a lot of stuff going on in the in the area, and lots of different energies, lots of different vibes. Um, it was really interesting. Um, so I've been catching myself in the woods for a hot minute, you know what, I'm, what I mean? Like, so there's a, like a lot of, and I started this year going on my, uh, spiritual retreat for my birthday. That's how I started it. Pretty much I kicked it off, um, with the solar eclipse. Uh, so it's been kind of like a very powerful natured punch. I mean, I'm not surprised Jupiter is, is in Sag and Sag is very much the archer and where do archers usually be at? Right. So, um, so I'm not really surprised, but I am, um, I don't know, a lot, I, I, I've been focusing a lot on na nature magic recently, um, so there's that. Uh, so I guess I'll end it with that, but I will, I guess, update you guys at some point with, with this book. <laughs> um, I guess I, I'll definitely be using it here and there. I think I'm going to take it to Cali because we are going to, uh, fl uh, drive to Mexico and Me Mexico's an is going to be another one because Mexico has been calling me and Bay for a second now for some reason and I'm going to Mexico twice this year um and I know I'm going to be doing a lot of work with some I have been doing a lot of work with something like that but like it's it, she's also been contacting her and it's just been like a lot of stuff going on um so I'm excited uh and I'll be vlogging the whole experience so you guys will see um okay so let's see what else did I get? Oh yeah, I did pick this up. There's another one here somewhere, yeah. So, I picked up two of them. Um, I picked up the black one and I picked up the red one. Yes. So this is the Santa Muerte um, Cologne. It's just in two different colors. Um, one for La Niña Roja and then obviously um, she has different forms. Um, so I ran out, <laughs> which is why I needed. This is one of the things that Original Botanica does not carry. So I like having this in our her altar because it is definitely made for her. Um, and I definitely want to get the black one um, because I've been working with um, her black form as well. It's just been different different ways to like work with her. But I do like to keep her altar really smelling really nice and, you know, luxurious in, in ways. So that is why I got this. Also to bless different things, um, different tools that go on the altar, plethora of stuff. Um, what else did I get? Oh, so these are called quad, cuartos. Um, no, sorry, cuadros. My Spanish is messed up today. Um, so I got these, and yes, I did get three Santa Muertes. And I got one, um, Santa Marta de Dominadora, because, oh, it flipped on me, you guys. Um, because these, um, and I guess, I don't know if I should make a video about this, probably I kind of did something like this um kind of when I went to Grenada um of how to like build an altar when you're traveling and stuff like that but you can actually do it with these cards um so 
it's basically it has the picture of the or the drawing of, of what would whatever saint you're working with and then it has a prayer in the back so i picked up um her a golden um and white and black um mainly because they're definitely for different things i didn't pick up the red because i don't necessarily need help with love because i'm good right now it's mainly protection work that i've been doing i've been doing so much protection work the past couple of months um lots of stuff came up where i needed to do protection work lots of people are trying and it's just i'm just like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. it's just like when you make a big manifestation and you they get the thing things just trying to penetrate things and i'm just like not today satan not today um so i kind of just been doing a lot more protection work um and obviously she's really good for um success is pr prosperity but um i really wanted to just focus on working for protection so i could definitely put one of these in my bag and if i needed to do like a quick little thing let's say i'm at work or i'm at, on break or i'm like on i don't know i'm on in the woods somewhere and i'm trying to just like connect um even though it's really easy to connect when you're in surround my nature but if i'm trying to connect or something i could just read the prayer or have the card there just like go into a meditation just do something that will it will enable me to just have create a sacred space on a fly um so that's why i got these because i feel like i'm gonna be doing so much traveling and i'm not going to be able to have um and hold um an altar space um wherever i'm at so i'm just like let's just keep this real simple and let me just let, let me just have things that I could just keep in my purse and then you know if I need to do some quick do 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 I could just do that on the fly so that's why I got them um oh I guess we'll start with the we can start with the candles this is another one that I need to do but okay so I I kind of been getting into the habit of treating myself to a fixed candle. My second house is definitely in Leo. That is, is my first. So I get bougie sometimes. Don't get mad at me. Anyway, so this is the um, Caliente Negocio, which is kind of like a, a better business kind of candle. But this Caliente de Negocio definitely translates to fire to your business. Not necessarily in the burning sense, but just like in the prosperity sense. Um, and you guys know I told you that I want to reach a thousand subscribers and you know my numbers have been going up so we're getting there but um yeah I just want to put the juju up there you know continue the the process because you got the work that um it comes with a soap and it also comes with an incense cone you can see it right there so it's kind of like this one is 13 I know the one in original they sell it for 10 and you just get the candle so it's kind of nice it's already fixed Ooh, there we go so I'm just gonna light this baby pray I'm gonna pray over it light it put on my altar let it do its thing um definitely gonna use the soap I wonder if it's gonna smell like <laughs> Dominican soap <laughs> yeah well, sometimes I need everything to smell like Dominican soap I guess um oh yes so I actually did get this because I wanted to try it and because I smelled it and it smelled like strawberries so I actually make my own Santa Muerte con Condor oil but it, oh, that oil specifically you can also wear um so it's a little bit different this is an actual conjure oil um and this is the sunday see my word the holy death oil from um say alias botanica so they actually make their oils which is cool and it literally smells like strawberries strawberries straight up strawberries give her some strawberries in her altar um so yeah, so I'll let you guys know how, I mean, I usually I do like the oils from St. Alias probably a little bit better than I like the ones from Original. I've only tried one before, but I just feel like it has a little bit more juju for some reason. Um, my Original Botanica people don't get mad at me. I do love y'all. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, so continuing on, they finally got this. So one of the things that I like about St. Alias Botanica over um, Original Botanica is their incense selection. A lot of the ones from Original Botanica, they're, um, th they kind of make themselves, but they don't burn as well. So I don't really like them as much. And the ones that they kind of have like that are from this company, that are like this, um, this is the hand company. Um, they don't have, they literally have like probably six different kinds 
I give them credit for having the Santa Marta one, but it's just like, it's just not enough of them. And I just, it's like, um, especially cause I prefer these, these are better. And this is probably one of my favorite ones, which is the moon. Um, it just smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. And I was waiting for St. Alias to get this one. I asked for it like a bunch of times for months now because they have a large selection of incense. Um, maybe not more than namaste in like down downtown but i hate namaste the vibe in there is always bad um but they actually have a good selection of incense but now uh, um to alien safe they keep expanding the little you know doo -doo -doo, and they finally got the moon and i really really love this one so i was glad and i was i had to grab it um because i ran out months ago i'm trying to go through my the rest of my incense so we could all you know be content in life um so yeah i definitely i need to use this one but this is the Matalado Miradora Contra Todo Mal Floor Wash and I like I like making my own floor washes and I also like trying floor washes some floor washes are um like um like a bath like you can either put it in a floor wash and mix it with like a oh what's it called I can't remember the word but it's the other thing that makes the bubbles <laughs> it's like the soap part um what's it called oh my god it's literally like right over there I literally can't see the name of it um yeah i know what i'm talking about it's an actual floor wash that makes a bubble this isn't really make the bubbles this is more like a mm, it's kind of like a blessed colored in water type of thing that's the better way to put it some people make it with different types of like herbs and stuff and they, they brew it and then they just add the color just so it can look like with our colors and stuff um some people don't it depends on the botanica honestly um but i really like the vibe of this one i just picked it up and i was like oh okay and i've been doing so much protection work that's why i got the contra todo mal which means that against all it translates to against all bad but it's mainly against all evil if you translate it properly i guess um and you guys know i work with something like that a lot so i was doing a lot of cleaning my house and i was like okay let's bless it so that's why i got this uh Okay, and then we're going to get into the candles. I am going to go back <laughs> to original. And this is because of the, I feel like their can, original's candle selection is good. Um, St. Aliens. St. Aliens. You hear this? I just renamed Yahoo Botanica. St. Aliens Botanica has a pretty good selection. And they also have the smaller ones. Like the ones that are like probably this big. that But that still have the prints. Um, and the only my only beef with them is that they have the prices or just they fluctuate too much where in original you know kind of if you go on this side this is a price for all of them if you go on the other side there's a price for all of them and they have a three for usually ten or three for nine type of thing going on but with um st aliens it's kind of like you have to check if it has two colors and it costs like 25 cents more or something like than usually so this would be like 350 or something instead of 325 or something so it's just a lot of math sometimes um but i will say their candle selection might be a little bit better just because they have different types um mm, yeah they kind of have different types they get uh, a lot of different prints prints that i have never seen in original before i've seen this one in original i'm just saying um and I kind of like that about them because if you're going for something a little bit, you're trying to be super maybe specific about a spell you want to do, um, then you're able to find it. Um, my beef with them though is that uh, in comparison to, eh, it's it's kind of tit for tat, but in comparison to original when it comes to the saints, I do like having the print on it. I prefer it that way. It's just, I don't know, it's an aesthetic for me. Um, but in St. Elias, they have the... Um, the label all over the saint ones that they do um so it's a little bit different but it does look pretty cool i'm going to show you the two that i have um that have that but i do like i prefer these because i just think they're cooler that's just my my spiel but uh so this is the elegua candle as you probably noticed from me waving it around in your face but this is the elegua candle this is for bay yeah i know i've been lighting candles for bay but this is for bay that's pretty much it this is for me she just needed a little little love actually since i last lit because i i believe it was in my last botanical haul i bought her an allegua candle for this reason and allegua like showed up in a reading and has been helping her a lot um to a transition that she's going to so it's just mainly about you know just feeding the intention continuing and stuff um 
in my Dollar Tree haul that I will be posting soon. You guys will see the, uh, like I did buy a label some candy and I know she's going to have to give him some candy as well. So there's, you know, because he loves his candy. Um, but yeah, so this is for her. She just wants to like cute open road and I'm like okay i'll work i'll work a doo -doo. um okay so this is what i mean by the, the the labels now i do love this candle i feel like it's just kind of really beautiful it's that golden color so this is the santa muerte kind of i actually have two black and gold so this is la dorada um and this is her original form which is her black version and I wanted to get the black one specifically because I told you I've been doing a lot of protection work. So this is for prosperity and you yeah, know I got the bath. So it's like prosperity, money, success, um, making sure that I'm still doing the things that I need to do to attract and money and all these things. Um, and then protection work. I've been doing a lot of spell work, a lot of protection work, just as a boost as well. But um, she's been calling me a lot. She's been showing up in my dreams a lot too. So it's just been like a very interesting situation um and me and Bay have to actually work with her together so there's been a lot of stuff that's come up wasn't that worth it for me um and that's actually it for this month's botanica haul but i will make it like a mini one when i go to original because i'm sure i'll pick it'll, it'll probably be like it's five minute video because it'll just be like me grabbing a couple candles candles or something and any any little bits that i'm that i'm missing but for the most part this is kind of what i'm working for the month especially because i'm traveling i'm really excited to kind of just have these in my bag and just be like let's go especially when i go to mexico um because this month i will be going to mexico because i'm going to california and then we're driving from cali to mexico for the weekend while we're there so we're gonna be there for like 10 days um so yeah so that's happening uh yes so um let me know what you thought about the pieces if you guys have any questions on it um the botanical essentials some of it is it's gonna be actually i'm gonna do that that video is getting posted next week i already wrote down the list of the essentials list some of it is in here so you peep some stuff but um just to give you an idea of what it is that you might need if you're going for the first time or if you've gone for many times but you want to try something new how it can help you etc etc blah, 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 blah. so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you in the next one